In this video, we're diving into one of the most debated topics in SEO, SEMrush versus Ahrefs versus Moz versus Uber Suggests. Let me tell you, I've spent countless hours using these tools, trying to figure out which one actually delivers the goods. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of what each tool offers, and more importantly, which one might be right for you. Before we dive in, just a quick note, some links in the description are affiliate links. That means that if you make a purchase through them, I might earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. It's pretty cool, right? Thank you so much. Now, let's get started. Let's kick things off with SEMrush, the all-in-one powerhouse of digital marketing tools. I first stumbled upon SEMrush years ago when I was first desperate to figure out why my site's traffic had flatlined. I remember signing up for the free trial and being absolutely blown away by how much data it provided. From keyword research to site audits, it felt like I had discovered a gold mine of insights. SEMrush's standout feature for me has always been its keyword magic tool. Imagine having a tool that doesn't just spit out a list of keywords, but organizes them into clusters based on search intent. It's like someone doing half the work for you. Plus, their competitor analysis is just next level. Once I had discovered that one of my competitors was ranking for a keyword that I had overlooked entirely. Within a month, I created content around that keyword and watched my traffic spike. Now, what's the downside? Well, SEMrush isn't cheap. Plans start at $139.95 per month. And if you're running an agency or need advanced features, the cost can stack up quickly. But if you're serious about SEO and have the budget, it's worth every penny. Next up, Ahrefs. Ahrefs is precise, powerful, and built for one main purpose, backlinks. A few years ago, I was working on a site that needed some serious link building. Someone recommended Ahrefs, and I'll admit I was a little bit skeptical at first, but within minutes of using their backlink analysis tool, I was hooked. Ahrefs backlink database is insane. They crawl over 8 billion pages daily, so their data is fresh and reliable. I've used it to find broken links on high authority sites, pitch them my content as a replacement, and bam, new backlinks. But Ahrefs isn't just about backlinks. Their content explorer is a hidden gem. I've used it to find trending topics in my niche and create content that's almost guaranteed to perform well. The UI is clean and easy to navigate, which is great if you're new to SEO tools. However, Ahrefs doesn't offer as much when it comes to PPC or social media insights. Pricing starts at $129 per month, but you will need higher tier plans for advanced features. Ah, Moz. If you've been in the SEO game for a while, you've probably heard of Ran Fishkin and his legendary whiteboard Fridays. Moz is like the friendly, approachable mentor you wish you had when you first started. It was actually one of the first SEO tools that I ever used. Moz is perfect for beginners. Their keyword explorer is intuitive, and I'll never forget how much their domain authority metrics helped me understand the competitive landscape. One feature that stands out is Moz Local. It's fantastic for small businesses trying to improve their local SEO. Back when I was helping a friend optimize their bakery's online presence, Moz Local made all the difference. However, Moz doesn't have the same depth as SEMrush or Ahrefs. Their database feels smaller and some of their tools lack the advanced features you'd expect from a premium platform. That being said, their pricing starts at $99 per month, making it a more budget-friendly option for beginners and small businesses. Finally, we have Uber Suggest, the scrappy underdog of the SEO world. Created by Neil Patel, Uber Suggest has positioned itself as the budget-friendly alternative to the big players. When I first tried it, I was skeptical. A decent SEO tool for $12 a month? No way, I thought. But honestly, it's a solid option for beginners. Uber Suggest does a little bit of everything, keyword research, site audits, and even AI-powered content ideas. It's not as polished or comprehensive as others, but for the price, it's hard to complain. One cool feature is the lifetime plan for $120. That's right, you pay once and get access forever. I recommend it to friends who are just starting their SEO journey, and they found it super helpful. Now, what about the downside? Well, it's not as data-rich as SEMrush or Ahrefs. 
If you're running a large scale campaign or need advanced analytics, Uber Suggest might feel a little bit limiting. But if you're on a tight budget, it's a great entry point. So which tool is right for you? Here's the thing. There's no one size fits all answer when it comes to choosing the perfect SEO tool. Each platform has its strengths and the best choice will ultimately depend on your specific goals, the complexity of your campaigns, and of course your budget. If you're managing multiple campaigns, need detailed reports and are looking for a robust all-in-one tool that covers keyword research, site audits, and competitor analysis, SEMrush is an excellent choice. It's a powerhouse for marketers and businesses that demand comprehensive data and a wide range of features. Now, however, if backlinks are your top priority, Ahrefs is unmatched in its ability to analyze link profiles, track backlinks, and help you discover opportunities for building a stronger SEO foundation. It's the go-to tool for anyone focused on the main authority and off-page SEO strategies. For beginners or small businesses that need a user-friendly interface without being overwhelmed by too many advanced features, Moz is a fantastic option. Its simplicity makes it ideal for those who are just starting their SEO journey and its local SEO capabilities are particularly helpful for businesses targeting a specific geographic area. Lastly, if you're just dipping your toes into SEO or working with a limited budget, Uber suggests is a budget-friendly tool that provides solid value. It's perfect for freelancers, startups, or anyone who wants an affordable solution for keyword research, basic site audits, and SEO guidance. Now, here's a million dollar question. What's the best way to figure out which tool works for you? That's right, test them. Most of these platforms offer free trials or limited free versions. Play around with them, see which interface you like, which features you actually use, and how well they fit into your workflow. You see, SEO is a journey. These tools are just that, tools. They're here to make your life easier. But at the end of the day, it's your strategy and execution that drive results. I hope this video has helped you navigate the SEO landscape a little better. If you've used any of these tools, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.